In our world today, we're announcing our achievements, riches, and successes in the like in social media is the norm. Di ba yun ang makikita mo yung pagpo-post kung saan-saan? And humility is an attitude that is usually scorned or yung kinukot siya. This is because most people have a false notion about humility. They think that being humble means having feelings of unworthiness, thinking of themselves as nobodies, and being a doormat for everyone. But what is true humility? Do you want to find out the answer? So just keep on tuning in and don't tune out. Hello! Magandang araw po ulit sa inyong lahat. Welcome po ulit sa aking channel. So kung hindi ka pa subscriber or bago ka lang sa aking channel, don't forget to click the like, subscribe, pati na yung bell button para ma-notify ka lagi sa mga bago kong pinapublish every week. You know what guys? True humility is acknowledging one's need for God. It is knowing that by ourselves, we are inadequate. But with God, we can reach great heights. Kaya nga ang mga success, victory, the good life, all of this can cause us to drift away from the Lord who gave them all to us. At yung pride can creep in, allowing us to think that we achieve everything because of ourselves. At hindi lang yan nangyayari sa atin kundi sa mga tao, lalo na kung minsan ay nabigyan ng mataas na posisyon, minsan nagiging prideful na tayo. But you know what? God will not let such pride unchecked. He will do something to humble us down. So ano nga ba sinasabi ng Bible about humility? So check natin. The Bible describes humility as meekness, lowliness, in absence of self. And we see that humility is a heart attitude. It's not merely an outward demeanor because one can put on an outward show of humility but still have a heart full of pride and arrogance. That's why when we display true humility, it produces godliness, contentment, and security. Now, my question is, why is humility important? Sa tingin nyo, bakit napakahalaga niya? You know what? Humility is important because it is necessary to enter the kingdom of heaven. But it is also necessary to be great in the kingdom. That's why Jesus himself is our model. Just as he did not come to serve but to serve. So we must commit ourselves to serving others, considering their interests above our own. And so what happens when we are humble? Ano ba ang nangyayari pag tayo ay nagiging humble? God has promised to give grace to the humble while He opposes the proud. Therefore, we must confess and put away pride. Because if we exalt ourselves, We place ourselves in opposition to God who will, in His grace and for our own good, will humble us. But if we humble ourselves, God gives us more grace and exalts us. So as I end, here is my takeaway sa inyong lahat. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 34, it says, Toward the scorners, He is scornful. But to the humble, He gives favor. That's the power of humility. By it, we can obtain God's grace, mercy, and favor. Because God opposes the proud, but shows favor to the humble. Friends, I hope may valuable lesson kayong napulot na yung araw na to. If meron kayong napulot na aral, don't forget to share this short clip to your friends. At bago ka mag-check out, don't forget to subscribe by clicking the like, subscribe, and the bell button. I hope to see you next week. Dito lang ulit sa channel ni Kuya Ram. So God bless you and thank you.
for watching.